There. That's it. That's him. All right. Back of the building. You know what I do. You know how I do it. How you gonna get it? You know when you see me, shit's about to get real. And now I'm gonna talk about a serious topic that a lot of you people are trying to do. And a lot of you people can't and will fail at doing it. I'm talking about doing YouTube for a living. Making some ching off of this video stuff here. You know, all the lightings, the video, the green screens, the lights, all this and more. I'm going to tell you the pitfalls you're going to have, the ups and downs. So let's rock right into this motherfucker. All right, a lot of you folks uh, come right out and like, I love, I love when like new people do this, especially. I see it on blogs and I go to blogs and I go to uh, chat rooms sometimes because I get invited to a lot of chat rooms. Oh yeah, follow me on all the like various social things because I'm in like, especially Google Plus. Now that Google Plus is allowed in communities, make some communities, add me to your community, but don't add me if you got one person and you're the person. Come on now, you got, don't think I'm just gonna come in and talk to you. Kind of, to me, it seems weird. You know, I know you may want to talk to me, but you can you can email if it's that's the case. Like, you got some people in your group, add me to it, but don't do it if you just got one person. Don't try to get me, don't use me to add other people. You know what I mean? If you're talking money, well then, then you can do that, but I digress. Like, a lot of people come in here, especially, like, um, this is more to the new people. This is, like, I'm going to direct this towards you guys. But a lot of, like, the old, like, the people on YouTube, I've been on YouTube, I'd say, about four years. And I really didn't, if you look, if you look at my video history, if you really look, I really didn't start getting cracked until about, like, maybe a year, two, maybe two and a half years ago as far as uploading, uploading. Like, when I first got on YouTube, some little videos, some little wisecracks, some little, yeah, all right. But when I really started studying how YouTube worked, and I started studying the trends of YouTube going, which I advise, that's one thing I'll probably talk about. When I started studying trends, started seeing how the way the social internet entertainment was coming more and more dominant, and like, like I tell people, there's a, there's you know, sort of entertainment, there's mainstream and there's digital media, like the internet. It's like everybody thinks that you can't. You can't make any money off of the internet, but you can make money off the internet if you're smart, and if you're willing to put in a little bit of work. A lot of you come in here with the aspect is I'm gonna make thousands of dollars and I'm gonna do this and everyone's gonna like my video. But, but then what happens is a lot of you make these videos, a lot of these corny videos of like your cat like acting like he's a chipmunk, and you're wondering, well, why ain't nobody watching the video, dude? There's probably like tons of videos like that. But uh, first of all, let me tell you something. If you're planning on doing this for a living, don't quit your day job, number one. And I don't care how you feel, unless you're like, you know, eight or eight, do like 18, you're living home with your mom and dad, your mom or dad, grandma, then you got time in your hands, you can do this. You know, what you, people understand is like, number one, the folks that are on YouTube, the ones that are really high up there, the ones that are like the high mucky mucks on YouTube from middle on up, they have some talent to them. They had talent before they came to YouTube, if you look at them. They just didn't, you know, or some, but it's in the infancy of YouTube, they developed their talent quickly as YouTube developed. That's one of the things you gotta do. You gotta study YouTube. You gotta study what the other person's doing. Don't copy them, like I said. Don't think that when you, if you imitate somebody or does do a little skit that somebody else is doing, that that's flattering. Now, that ain't flattering. That's, you know, you can do an offshoot, but don't do whatever somebody else. Be original. That's like, that's, don't be a cornball. Back to the lecture, man. Like I said, a lot of people had talent beforehand. And it's that they're, they couldn't, let me say, that the doors weren't open on mainstream, I'll use main, uh, mainstream TV, mainstream radio, mainstream film, whatever. So, you come to YouTube, and well, let, me, let me put you like this. When you start having people watch you and having eyes on your videos, sooner enough, they're going to come for you. I use my I use me myself as an example. I asked, if you look at like I said, if you look at my progressions, up until this year, I had about thirty five thousand total video views, and that's from being like on for like four years, and that's like uploading videos left and right. Now, 
depending on how this is, I have a decent amount of use for somebody who's, you know, half assed it for a minute. The keys that I, like I said, I started studying what other people were doing, like as far as their frequency of their uploads. I started seeing, like, they all had, the ones that I was studying all had a niche that even though there may be similar people in the niche, they had they still had their own identifiable, you know, brand. I also followed trends, like, I watch a lot of real SEO, and I'll link that down there because they are great help, and no, I'm not getting paid for this, I really do go there all the time. They got some great articles, I'll link them down. I'll tell you to go there, tell them I sent you. They have some great articles on how you can stay ahead of the YouTube trends. I advise you to follow YouTube creators and partners on Twitter because they got some like interesting stuff for partners and creators. And find find your niche. Find what you think you're good at. Find what, but yet find something you want to do. Don't try to find some so find something you want to do. That's what I've done. Like I like I I've been always the type of person I've been interested in a lot of different areas like maybe news and politics. I, when I was young, I used to read the paper all the time. I used to watch news. I used to, I used to, to this day, I get like a lot of different style magazines. I watch the news still. I watch a lot of Fox, MSNBC, and CNN. I watch a lot of news. I still stay up to date. I mean, I may look stupid, but trust me, I just look stupid. So I did is I developed my own niche. And I talk about stuff that everybody talks about. I talk about stuff that's like water cooler topics. But you can't say it works sometimes. I know I can't say this at my job, some of the stuff I say. By the way, I do have a job still, so this ain't my nine to five. This is my side deal. And, uh, uh excuse me. But, uh, like I said, find your own niche. Find something that you want to do. Like, if, you, if you're doing something right now thinking because you're going to get some views and you don't like doing it, it's going to show in your video. And then, then it's like, oh, after that, it's a wrap. But, uh, Another thing, uh, focus on your content. Focus on at least getting the audio down, because people will listen to good video. They may not necessarily watch it, but you can if you have something to listen to, they'll give it to you. So focus on at least getting your audio down. Your audio is just as important as your video. You know, the days of uploading cute, funny, fuzzy buddies. And little, like I said, funny little kitten trying to be like a chipmunk. Those days are over on YouTube. YouTube is coming more and more commercialized, I'll say, without really selling out. And like the thing is, is the trend of YouTube is going towards being in an online studio. Now, I want to talk about that real quick. Being in an online studio for real, it's a help and a hindrance. Because number one, being in an online studio, you get that name recognition, and they do push you as far as putting ads and whatever this that and third but the hindrance I feel and I understand this and I understood this going in when I signed my contract you have to prove yourself to them like once you get into us once you get signed you just can't sit back and say ma I made it no you can't you have to day in and day out if you launch your uploading these videos you have to show them that you that you want you're willing to do this like a lot of these studios you have to have the mindset you want to do this for for life as a job. You have to put a little dedication, you have to put a little elbow grease into it. And when I start doing that, my views start going up. Like I said, I, I, I put all my videos on wherever I can put them, but here's a catch of that. Then you got all this, you know, somebody watches your videos too much, you get you can possibly get a strike because it might be violating, what's that, section H of YouTube? Like what I do is I go to all these sites and I start put, putting videos. I mean, I may do that every day. Now that may be spam, it may not be, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I know whether I'm signed to a studio or not, I'm the one who's only in control of my destiny. If I don't do nothing, I can't say the studio didn't do nothing for me. No, what it is is they didn't do nothing for me because I won't do nothing for myself. Now, if I do something for, now if I do something for myself and they don't want to help me, then yeah, I'm going to say they ain't done shit, but that's not the case. So if you're trying to do this for a living, please study and like before you even do your first film, Watch a couple videos on YouTube. Watch their style. Watch, watch how so you got to have a commanding presence. You know, have find something that you want to do. So that's all I gotta say for now. So I'm out of here. Deuces. <laughs> it's funny because it's true.
there. That's it. That's him. <laughs>